It's a great day with that dark stuff filling up my favorite cup. How you call feeling? How you call feeling? How you call feeling now? Yeah. Well, it's another early morning for me, and even though it's Friday today, I have many meetings on my agenda. So, it's about time to have my lips meet some coffee. Uh, so, today I'll be trying out uh, the traditional from black and white coffee. And so, if you saw in episode 57, I reviewed black and white coffee's classic blend. Uh, this is the traditional. It is a dark, medium dark roast. Uh, dark chocolate, cherry, marzipan. Uh, process, wash, all that jazz, a Colombian coffee known as the traditional. As I mentioned before, black and white coffee based in North Carolina and so available on their website. You can check it out for all their different roasts, different coffee blends. Well, let's go ahead and try the traditional this morning. So the coffee has met my lips, and once again, months, months, much like the classic, the flavors of the coffee, uh, this cherry mar marzipan, they kind of take over the actual taste and flavoring of the coffee. Not in a bad way, but it's still good. Mm. But if you're someone like myself that prefers the coffee bean flavoring to really take over, and for uh, that dark roast, that smokiness, that just heavy punch that you can get from coffee, uh, this might not hit the spot for you compared to other coffees that I've reviewed on this show. Nevertheless, Black and White Coffee, again, a, a local business that's only a uh, local roaster that's only started a few years ago. Uh, put together by two gentlemen who uh, have won awards within the coffee roasting community, which I didn't know existed, but not surprising. Every industry seems to have awards at this point. So again, I'd encourage you to check out Black and White Coffee's website. The reason I bought two bags is that if you buy at least $25 worth of coffee or other goods from their website, uh, shipping is free. So in these times of supporting local businesses and as well as being anywhere in the United States to receive coffee, uh, might be a decision you want to make. So check out Black and White Coffee. I still am for them and their business. But once again, from what I saw on their website, they don't offer any blends that are pure dark roasts. At best in the dark roast realm is a medium dark roast as this is. So for medium dark roast, this is pretty good. But once again, uh, it really depends on what your palate is towards coffee. And if your palate enjoys the flavors that are part of the beans taking over uh, a bit, then you'll enjoy this. But if you like that heavy coffee flavor to your coffee uh, with hints of flavor, uh, uh, then you may not enjoy this one as much. So I would like it if it, if it was more of just hints of the, the cherry and the dark chocolate. Nevertheless, it's still a fine cup of coffee. We appreciate our local brewers. So to answer the question, how you coffee when? I, I was gonna sing along to Michael Jackson's black and white, but Michael Jackson, we're not. We're not good with them anymore, are we? You know, I didn't watch that HBO documentary, but it was probably... I've heard not good things. Is Michael Jackson over? Should we... I shouldn't sing? Dirty Diana. How you call feeling now? Yeah.